This just in, the man convicted of assassinating Senator Robert F. Kennedy back in 1968 has been granted parole. 77-year-old Sirhan Sirhan has spent the last 53 years in prison. Douglas Kennedy, who was just a toddler when his father was killed, said that he was moved to tears by Sirhan's remorse and that he should be released if he's found not to be a threat to others. Sirhan, who is Palestinian, said he killed Robert Kennedy because of the senator's support for Israel. Today's decision, though, is still subject to further review and final approval by California Governor Newsom. That process could take up to 120 days. So let's talk more now about today's parole panel's decision with KTV legal analyst Michael Cardoza. Michael, this was the 16th attempt to get parole. What factors do you believe led to today's recommendation? Well, certainly it was the Kennedy's children, at least two of them, that stepped forward and said that they were empathetic, thought that he had been rehabilitated. They confronted him or faced him for the first time in their life. And they said, if he's not a threat to other people, let him out. But keep in mind, Heather, there were other family members, Kennedy family members, that said, don't let him out. That was one of the big things. The second was District Attorney Gascon, the DA of LA, has a new policy that says district attorneys will not and should not participate in parole hearings. So the people that represent the people of the state of California, the district attorney's office, did not show up to this hearing. In other words, they took a neutral stance on this and said to the two panel, uh, it was two persons panel, you do what you want. Okay, so you, you mentioned this new policy by D.A. Gascon there in Los Angeles. Gascon says that he believes that the prosecutor's role ends at sentencing and that they should not influence decisions to release prisoners. This is the first time, Michael, though, that Sirhan Sirhan's parole has come before the board and there's been no prosecutor to oppose it. Absolutely, and before, on the other 16 appearances, uh, they they opposed it, so they did appear. And keep in mind, district attorney's offices represent the people. We hear that time after time in courtrooms. When they prosecute people, they step in front of a jury and say that they, the district attorney's office, represents the people of the county, the people of the state of California. But in this case, Gascon decides, I'm not sending anybody in there. So in essence, the people aren't represented in front of that panel. And again, it was a two person panel. Mm -hmm. It now goes before the entire board's staff. And then as you just said, it goes before the governor who can veto this whole thing. Let's also remind the audience, Michael, that Sirhan Sirhan was convicted of murder, uh, you know, when this first happened and he was right. sentenced to death. That was reduced to life without the possibility uh, of parole. So originally he was sentenced to die for the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy. And that's absolutely correct. And then what happened was the state voted the death penalty out. So the, the people of the state of California said, all right, no more death penalty. He fell under the purview of that law. And at that time, there was no what we call LWAP, life without possibility of parole. Had it been in effect, he would still be in and he could never get out. But because the people voted to vote out the death penalty at that time, he was able to take advantage of that and keep uh, trying to get out, keep doing his parole hearings. So now the people of the state of California have voted the death penalty back in. We have a death penalty. We didn't have it then. He's the beneficiary of that. And these two people on the parole board said, let him out. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned, though, Michael, this, while a major victory, is does not assure Sirhan's not. release. Obviously, as you mentioned, the full commission will review this, and then ultimately Governor Newsom will have the say. Michael Cardoza, appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you. Take care. Stay healthy, Heather. You too.